You may have seen some news about McDonald's. McDonald's, and let's not cheer for them, by the way. Let's continue booing them. But McDonald's, they bought back after intense international boycotts. They bought back the franchises run by the Israelis that were giving free food to IOF genocide Zionist killers. And the only reason why they did that, they admitted it themselves. So when people tell you boycotts don't work, point them to McDonald's. Because they said, after the boycott, it's hit our sales, it's hit our profits. So they took their sales into priority and they took back the restaurants, as they call them, in Israel, run by the Israelis. And that is what I call a huge win for the boycott movement. investment and sanctions. Israel and McDonald's are still wed together. McDonald's said nothing about ceasing operations in that genocidal nation. It's a step and it's a win. We take wins where we can get them, but we do not stop and we want everything. We do not stop at something they give us. We demand the whole thing and we demand that McDonald's stop operating on land that has been occupied on land, on land that has seen 35,000 plus Palestinians murdered by this regime, by the Israeli Zionist regime. That's what we ask. So we take the win and we say, boycotts work. Boycotts work. Boycotts work. People are asking us, after this happened in Israel, can we go back to McDonald's and we say no. We say no because there are still 225 branches of McDonald's on stolen land. the occupied land of Palestine will be boycotted and we will 